A pack of cotton pads has those strings on it so that we could hang it on some hook or holder. And no, there's no need to untighten and tighten the pack again. Look at the bottom of the pack. It has a perforated line. Tear along it, and now you're good to pull out a cotton pad. If you've ever tried a Nintendo cartridge to taste, you'll confirm that they taste revolting, leaving a sour, bitterish aftertaste in your mouth. They're covered with denatonium benzoate, one of the most disgusting flavors ever known. Actually, this taste is kind of a hidden function. It prevents people from swallowing those cartridges. Silica gel can often be found in different things you buy, like bags, shoes, and many others. Don't throw it away. It's meant to absorb excess moisture, so anytime your shoes are a bit wet, just throw in a packet with silica gel. Escalator brushes aren't for keeping your shoes clean or polished. It's for our safety. Brushes won't let you come close to the edge, so a long coat or bootcut jeans won't end up between the steps. Rough edges on the dimes aren't just about design. The coins used to be made of precious metals to show their real value. People would shave off the edges, <laughs> spending the shaven coins with the same value, and melt the edges into new coins. To avoid it, minters added that pattern so people could tell if someone cut that coin before. Ever notice a tiny hole on the bottom of a padlock? Its hidden purpose is to drain water to help avoid corrosion. It's always the most convenient place to lubricate a padlock. A drop of oil in there will make it open and close easier. Bottles have long necks for a reason. Hold the neck, not the bottle, if you want to enjoy a cold drink. Same goes for fancy glasses. Their stem saves any drink from overheating. So hold it right. Notebook margins are not some extra space for note-taking. In fact, people invented them to protect their notes. People used to co-live with rats, and these guys like gnawing on everything they see on their way, including paper. Still, rats weren't able to chew more than the space left on the margins. That black grate on a microwave isn't just some fancy decoration. It's called a Faraday shield. And it prevents the rays from escaping the microwave. It also speeds up the heating, so you could enjoy yesterday's leftovers faster. It may also block phone signals, so if you're tired of numerous calls, just put the phone into a microwave, but don't turn it on. All Tic Tac containers are designed to dispense one Tic Tac every time you open it. The lid has the same shape as the candy. Turn the container upside down, gently shake it, and slowly open it. You'll notice only one candy stuck between those lid grooves. So if you just open the container and shake it until five or more candies fall into your mouth, that means you've been eating Tic Tac wrong all this time. Bath foam relieves stress, cleanses the skin, and keeps the water warm. Foam is made up of tiny air bubbles. They form an insulating layer on the water surface, keeping heat from escaping. Side holes in sneakers are for laces. Since sneakers were originally invented for basketball players, this interesting design allowed to accommodate any player's foot. They just needed to lace their sneakers in the most comfortable way for them. Colorful plastic ties on bags of bread indicate when the loaf was baked. The color code is the following. Monday, a blue tag. Tuesday, green. Thursday, red. Friday, white. And on Saturday, you can buy fresh bread with a yellow tag. The utility knife is supposed to last way longer than most people think. The knife blade is made of narrow, parallel sections. When the instrument gets blunt, break off the top section with a cap you find at the bottom. Voila, you have a brand new sharp blade again. Just don't forget to put some safety gloves and goggles on first. Some button-down shirts have a button on the back of the collar. It's there so that the tie doesn't stick out from under the collar. As for that locker loop on the back, you can use it to hang the shirt on a hook without wrinkling it. A seemingly random diamond-sized hole in the elevator door is actually a keyhole. If the doors get stuck, an operator can open them manually by inserting a special key in this hole. The same tool is used when an elevator needs routine maintenance. The holes in the bottom of earphones allow air to circulate up and through the speakers. It helps to increase low frequencies, making the bass sound deeper. The whole sound quality also becomes much richer. 
That drawer at the bottom of your stove isn't for storing pans and cookie sheets. Its purpose is to keep your dishes warm whenever you cook a large amount of food. While one dish is in the oven, it warms up the already prepared ones in the drawer below. That big, toothy spoon is great for grabbing spaghetti out of the pot. But you can also use it before the dish is even ready. The hole in the middle is there to measure portions. However many dry noodles you can fit into it, that's the amount one person needs. Diamond slits on backpacks were originally placed only on traveler bags. Their only purpose was to carry ropes. These days, you can find such slits on pretty much every backpack. Why not use them to carry a bottle of water, an umbrella, or a pair of sneakers? Ever use those flimsy, ribbed ketchup containers they have at fast food restaurants? Then you've probably wondered why they don't make them a bit bigger. But they can be. Just pull the ribs outward, and the container can house way more sauce. So, if you ever find yourself in a condiment race, you can always catch up. Catch up. Yeah. The hole in a lollipop stick is not a free whistle that you might have assumed. In fact, it's designed to save your life. The hole stops a person from choking if it gets stuck in their throat. If you struggle to peel an orange, there's actually a secret way to get into it efficiently. Cut into the peel at the top and bottom, make a slit on one side, and then just pull it open. Yogurt is a great healthy snack to eat, provided you have a spoon with you. But if you don't, I've got a trick for you. All you need to do is twist the foil lid from the yogurt pot into the shape of a spoon. If you can't just get rid of the food stuck in your teeth, you might not be using dental floss the right way. It can be hard to get perfect results with loose floss. To increase the tension, tie it in a knot. That way, it won't hurt your hands as well. Grocery carts have metal loops on the sides for a reason. You don't really want to put your jacket in the cart next to the onions, do you? So hang it on one of the loops. These little things can help organize the space in your cart better. We all keep our pans in oven drawers. They're designed for kitchenware, after all. But there's another way to use them that's even more useful. These drawers can actually keep your dish hot for a while without overcooking it. Remember that the next time your friends are running late for dinner. Plastic cup lids can become super handy cup holders. There are three small bulges on the reverse side, and the cup fits in there perfectly. No more coffee stains. Pretty much everyone who's ever been in a public toilet knows what paper seat covers are for. But many people find them inconvenient, and that's mainly because they don't know how to use them the right way. The flap should be placed right in front of you and drop down into the bowl. Have you ever seen those weird cylinders on cables? They're actually handier than they seem because they can help reduce high-frequency interference. The little sharp point on the cap of an ointment tube is there for a reason, too. Most tubes are usually sealed with foil, and it's better to avoid opening it with your fingers unless you're ready to say goodbye to your nails. The point on the cap can open even the best sealed tube without a problem. The small bumps on the F and J keys on your keyboard have a little-known purpose. They can help you find the right key even without looking at the keyboard. Pretty cool if you want to start blind typing. Ever notice the hole in a ruler? It's there if you want to place it on a hook or draw a perfect circle. Take a look at your iPhone. You see that weird little dot between the camera and the flash? Well, that's a microphone. It's used for recording with the back camera. If you get a box of chocolates with a little dent in between the holes for the candy, push it! The chocolate surrounding it will pop right out of their snug little compartments. You shouldn't have to push the sweet from the bottom, though. This weighs much quicker. You try to pull out some aluminum foil, but the roll keeps coming out of the box. It's not supposed to. Push in the tabs on the sides of the box. They'll hold the roll in place. Women's shirts oddly have buttons on the left, even though most people are right-handed. It comes from the times when upper-class ladies would have handmaidens dress them. The wearer's left became the dresser's right, so it was easy for them. Pants creases have their story, too. To squeeze in as many goods as possible to transport them, folded pants got heavily pressed. It was next to impossible to get rid of the resulting creases, so why not make them fashionable? There's a loop on the back of your button-up shirt, so you can hang it without it getting wrinkled. And fun fact, 
Back in the day, it showed your availability. Young guys used to cut those loops off once they started dating someone. Doorknobs are usually made of brass, bronze, or some other copper alloys for a reason. They have an antimicrobial effect. They get rid of germs pretty fast, within a couple of hours. But you still have to wash your hands after touching doorknobs. Those blue bristles on your brush are a lot more helpful than toothpaste stripes. When they fade, it's time to change your toothbrush. Take the lid off your to-go cup and turn it upside down. You'll get an instant coaster. It has a rim on the inside that your cup bottom fits into perfectly. If you prefer your soda in a bottle, check out the little plastic disc in the cap. It's there to keep the gases in your carbonated drink. Without it, you'd just have syrupy brown water. Ew. Detachable headrests in a car can be used to break the windows in case you get stuck in. Just don't go swinging at the window, though. You could hurt yourself. Slide one of the prongs in between the pane and the door. Pull the headrest back towards yourself, and the window will shatter. Don't forget about the tab on the bottom of your rearview mirror. Pull it back during nighttime driving. If someone's behind you, their headlights won't be blinding. Pull the tab forward again for daytime driving. Most people don't associate takeaway food with fancy dinners. But a takeout container can still be turned into a plate. You just have to unfold it correctly. Does two zips for one section of your bag seem like too much? Maybe, but it's actually a great safeguard against pickpocketing. You can put a small lock between the two zippers to make sure no one can open your backpack. The slits on a box cutter blade are there to help you snap off a piece of it when it wears out. To do so safely, use the lid from the other side of the box cutter. Place it on the blade and bend it to break a section off. Pom-poms on clothing sure look nice, but they also used to have a purpose behind them. There's one unusual theory for how they came about. French sailors used to hit their heads against the cabins of their boats when out on the oceans. So they invented pom-poms to soften the bump. All running shoes basically have an anti-blister system in their design. See that extra shoelace hole at the top of your sneakers? Make two loops with these holes by inserting the loose laces into them. Cross the laces over and insert them into the loops. Then pull the laces down, and you'll create a kind of lock to keep your feet snug in your shoes. The blue and red parts of the eraser aren't for pen and pencil. The red side rubs the pencil particles out of the paper, while the blue side is stiffer and scrubs off a thin layer from the paper itself. That's why it's for tougher grades of paper, whether it's getting rid of pen or pencil. Unfold the pleated paper cup you get for condiments at fast food places. You'll have enough room to dunk nuggets and a whole handful of fries. Same goes for the oyster pails you get for takeaway. Unfold it and you get an entire plate. A utility knife has a removable part on the end of the handle. Use it to snap off the dull piece of the blade to reveal a new sharp one. A pen cap has a small hole in the top in case of accidental swallowing. It keeps the airway unblocked. The loop on the back of a shirt came from sailors who'd hang their shirts from hooks on the ship. This locker loop is still useful for hanging the shirt without a hanger. The metal plate on a stapler base is turnable. Rotate it, and the staple's pins will be bent outward. This creates easily removable temporary staples. Lids on paper and plastic to-go cups work as coasters. The ring in the middle of the lid is exactly the size to fit the bottom of the cup. The lid's lips also catch dripping condensation from cold drinks. The hole in your frying pan's handle could hold your stirring spoon and keep it from messing the counter or stovetop. The hole in a pen cap is there in case the thing gets swallowed. It allows air to flow through. Lego heads have holes in them for the same reason. Go look at your bathroom sink. Really? See the hole up near the rim? It's there to prevent overflows. Excess water goes into the siphon, and your floor stays dry in case you forgot to shut the water off. It also helps your sink drain faster instead of glugging down slowly as it fights air resistance. The hole gives that air somewhere to escape. 
Holes in tube-like coffee stirring sticks help reduce resistance from the liquid so they can stir the sugar more efficiently, and we're thankful for that. This design also makes the plastic stick sturdier and protects it from bending in hot water. And manufacturers save money by using less plastic when the thing is hollow. The microwave door looks completely black when it's off, but when you're heating up your food, you can see through it. Look closely, it's not just a black glass, it's a special mesh against regular glass. This protective metal screen keeps the microwave energy inside. 